When we think about St. Patrick's Day, leprechauns, a pot of gold, and the luck of the Irish come to mind. Whether you are Irish or not, you cannot bank on good luck to build your financial future. Local financial pro professional Roger Cowan with Cowan Tax Advisory Group with tips so we are not relying on financial fortune. What yes. does luck, as well, it's great to have you with us, Thank Roger. You. It's great Pleasure to, to be here. <laughs> So what does luck have to do with our finances? Yes, well, we all know someone who blames their dire financial fortune on bad luck, yes. But there are things that you can do, live by the Boy Scout mo motto, be prepared, that'll minimize bad luck regarding your financial fortune. That's what it is, right? People just don't do their due diligence. They really need to do that before they start anything. They need to be prepared. Okay. And I have five tips to help people b minimize bad luck re regarding their finances. Okay, your first one is what? My, my first one is hope for the best, but plan for the worst. A recent study showed one out of four Americans had an emergency account. And this is startling news because things happen, furnaces break, cars break, people. Uh, so what I recommend is I recommend to all my clients have an emergency account of three to six months and that will avoid stress and financial disaster. You say only one in four, so we need to make that four out of four, right? Absolutely. All right, so you also say be on time? Be on time and in time. Pay your bills on time, that'll avoid uh, penalties, high interest charges, it'll keep your credit score right. high. The, the credit issues are really what people need to really think about yes, when yes. it comes to paying on time. Yes. And automatic bill payment can also help. Pay it off, you say. Pay it off. You know, sometimes credit cards get ahead of us and it's very hard to pay off balances at high interest. So. I recommend take the credit card with the smallest outstanding balance, pay it off, you'll feel good about yourself, then tackle the next one. I have a great debt reduction worksheet on my website at CowanTaxGroup.com. What about those monthly payments though? I mean, some people just pay the minimum. What should they be doing when it comes to their credit card? No, th they should be systematically developing a plan to pay them off over time. Right, but the budget, sometimes the budget's tight for them, so yes. they, they only pay in a minimum. Do you think most people should be paying a little bit more than the minimum? Yes. Or what should they be doing? Yes. If you can pay off a bill over a 60-month, 12-month, or 24-month per period and know that you're going to extinguish that debt, you'll feel good about yourself and you'll have a plan to reduce your debt. Okay, all right. You say spread it out, which spread is what you just said. Spread it out, <laughs> spread it. Well, I'm not talking about paying. I'm, I'm talking about spread it out diversify your assets, diversify, diversify. Mama always said, don't put all your eggs in one That's basket. Right. And sit down with a qualified financial professional and review asset allocation. Very important. Finally, protect yourself. Yes, Bob Dylan once <laughs> sang, every man needs protection. And how true, if you're a family man and you're the per provider, consider life insurance to take care of mama and the kids. <laughs> yes, so when you walk out, cash walks in. Also consider long-term care insurance so you're not a burden to the family. Auto insurance and homeowner insurance, obviously, is essential. Well, Roger, is there anything we can do to improve our luck when it comes to our financial fortune? Yes. Think good <laughs> and it'll be good, but you have to do. You have to act. You just can't sit in the chair and expect that things will be good. You must do and everything will be fine. Roger Cohen, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Hope Pleasure to, see to you be again. here with you. Thank you. And for more information, go to WTNH.com, click the on-air tab, and pull down uh, the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Now, let's get